morning everyone it's day 2 of plast india 2023 and we are here at the piu uml stall and we are fortunate to have dr joseph hotmint provost uml with us uh, thank you so much for stopping by sir my pleasure uh, let's kick start the conversation by talking about the partnership that everybody is talking about today plast india and the um uh, plast india international university and the uml partnership please We're very excited about this partnership. We got together a number of years ago with the intent to establish a university here in Vapi. Uh, we have a long history. The University of Massachusetts is old with India. Lots of students have come to our university over the years and returned to India to do great things in the plastics industry. And we see this as a way to help uh, educate that next generation of students in India. Mm -hmm. And so this is a great opportunity to work with the Plast India Foundation who's setting up the university. and help uh, educate many more students in the field of plastics engineering. Right. Uh, talk uh, picking up on the point where you spoke about students, what advice would you give to budding students who are interested in uh, you know coming into the plastics industry because uh, very few people know that there is a university in Wapi which is right. dedicated solely to the plastics uh, industry. Well, this is such a unique industry, right? You need to understand everything about materials. You have to understand about processing. You have to understand about uh, the distribution and who the application of those products. And so, it's an exciting field to study. There's the theory and the science behind the materials and so forth, but there's also the hands-on opportunity to work with the machinery and the processing. So, we think we've devised a fantastic curriculum for the students, modeled on how we do it in the United States. Mm -hmm. So, I'd advise students if they're interested in working in a really growing, exciting industry. Uh, that has applications all over the place, whether it's food packaging or medical uh, packaging, or uh, you know, there's so many ways to get involved, and it's exciting. Come learn about it at the university, and, and we look forward to jo you joining us starting this fall. How wonderful! Thank you so much for stopping by, sir. My pleasure. We also have with us Mr. John Fudo, Vice Chancellor for Advancement at UML. Sir, pleasure to uh, speak to you for the first time here at Polymer Update. Yes, thank you. Uh, Let me start by talking to you about what role do you see international collaborations playing in the future of our industry? Well, first of all, thank you for having us here for welcoming us. You know, if you think about the plastics industry around the world, India being the third largest consumer of plastics, plastics is an industry that is changing very rapidly. And it's important for the entire world to get behind issues like recycling, sustainability, and the ever changing evolution of plastics so we have to work together in order to uh, adhere to those changes and really to be ahead of them right. to whatever extent we can right be. right uh, also talking about the relationship between academics and our industry in the field of plastics uh, do you want to shed some light on it well and that's really why we're here is to talk about how UMass Lowell and Plast India International University can work together on the academic side to prepare students for industry. Uh, if you think about how plastics has changed over the last half century, it is a, a constant change. And it's important for academics to get ahead of the curve. At UMass Lowell, we are much more focused on the practical applications of academics than the theoretical, especially when it comes to our engineering program and plastics in particular. And so we try to give our students those practical opportunities while they're on campus through research and labs through partnerships with industry uh, we have a lot of companies that will come in and work with us with our faculty with our students so that that way they can teach us what's happening in in the industry today and they can learn from our intellectual property as well a lot of companies will donate equipment to the university and that gives our students an opportunity Absolutely. to practice yes. on that equipment so that that way when they graduate they're ready to go into the workforce but at the same time companies also hire our students as interns mm -hmm. and that gives them the hands-on experience that they need so that they are work ready as soon as they graduate we do that at UMass Lowell we've been known for that for years as a matter of fact walking around here at Plast India these last couple of days i can't tell you how many times we've had people come up to us and say that the the term plastics is synonymous mm -hmm. with UMass Lowell oh, how and that's what we want out of this relationship 
with Plast India International University as well, that their students will also be known as the experts in plastics. Definitely, definitely. We hope the best for you and thank you so much for stopping by for a quick interview. Ladies and gentlemen, we are fortunate to have Dr. Ramaswamy Nagarajan, Department of Plastics Engineering at UMass Lowell with us. Professor Ram, a uh, pleasure to meet you for the first time uh, in person and for the last time, I think uh, eight webinars we've conducted so far. Uh, my quick question to you is going to be about the PIU UML webinars that we have been conducting from last uh, year, March. Uh, we've conducted over eight webinars so far and all of them have garnered maximum participation from our industry, be it academics or be it uh, the general public in particular. Could you shed a uh, certain light on this, particularly talking about the, uh, the profile of PIU amongst our fraternity, please? Thank you for having me here. Uh, this is an exciting opportunity for UMass Lowell to collaborate with Plus India International University to offer these webinars on specific topics which were handpicked by the PIU leadership here so that our faculty members can customize courses around themes which are very relevant to India today. Mm -hmm. uh, we had had eight of them till now, and each one of them was delivered by our faculty members specifically on those topics which were of interest to an Indian audience. True. Uh, very well attended by uh, many people, and it was conducted by the Polymer Update very nicely. And I'm Thank very you thankful so much. for the opportunity for uh, providing this content to you all. Wonderful, wonderful. Also, do you want to talk about the upcoming webinar? It's so, just sure. five days short. So, you must all has a long history of customizing courses for the industry. We've done this for over 60 years now. Uh, so, the topics are essentially something which is relevant to today's uh, world. And especially the upcoming webinar, it is for designing product, plastic products for improving recyclability, uh, which is going to be on the 9th of February. Again, focus on this very important topic globally about recycling. Yes. Uh, so the strength of our program is about being relevant to the industry, being able to customize for the needs of the industry globally. Uh, and this is a great opportunity for us to do that in the context of the Indian industry. Professor Ram, thank you so much for uh, speaking with us. And uh, we have much more for you from Plast India 2023. Exciting interviews coming to you in just a bit. Stay tuned to Polymer Update.